So the news as it concerns of a Zyme uh, as at the 18th of June 2021, which was the last trading session, and uh, has it that uh, Site Rx Corporation, a specialized biopharmaceutical company focused on research and development for the oncology and neurodegenerative disease categories, noted that Ophazyme announced it has received a complete response letter, CR, CRL, from the FDA following its review of the new drug application for Arimokolol a heat shock protein amplifier intended for the treatment of Neiman Peak Disease Type C, NPC. Ophazyme's announcement disclosed that the FDA issued the CR, CRL, that is the complete report letter, called complete response letter, based on needing additional qualitative and quantitative evidence to further some substantiate the validity an interpretation of the five domain NPC clinical severity scale and in particular the swallow domain. Further, the FDA noted in the CRL that additional data are needed to bolster confirmatory evidence beyond the single phase two out of three clinical trial to support the benefit risk assessment of the NDA. The primary endpoint of the phase two of three clinical trial was progression in disease severity as measured by the five domain NPCCSS. This is a disease specific measure of disease progression consisting of the five clinically most prevalent uh, domains to patients with NPC, caregivers and physicians. So that's the that's a, uh, in a snapshot of what the news was about. I think uh, market participants um, stuck onto the the fact that that CRL um, sought additional qualitative and quantitative evidence to further substantiate the validity and interpretation of the five domain NPC clinical severity scale. So as such, the stock retraced up to fifty two percent and just managed to um, close up only 49.6%. At some point, it, it, the retracement was about 38%, up to 30%. So um, all in all, yes, it was a bad day for of a Zyme and it played into the hands of the short sellers. You know, obviously this uh, definitely was a stock that was um, being squeezed upwards and the company, the people who, the, the, the executives of the company came out and announced that there isn't any material news out there and they don't exactly know why the stock you know, has run up uh, this huge amount of extension. And they also warned that, you know, such losses might occur and indeed it has occurred. Maybe they, 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 they knew that, um, uh, they, they, they could see that all they were applying for, you know, it was just an application, you know, um, there wasn't, I mean, there will always be a, this sort of response from the FDA, you know, so in any case that has happened, you know, we can see uh, the stock has uh, been trading sharply, the volatility is extremely high, you can see that, you see, the, we saw this extension that began on the 9th of uh, June, so the extension began on the 9th of June at $5.31. It's all right, yes, at $5.31. And as at uh, the 10th of June, it had reached, what was it again? It had reached toward $21, you know. So that was a huge extension, a, a significant extension. So and all the way down again, it retraced the next day, all the way down to 9.34. So, the swings are brutal, you know, so um, it's also initiated another one, another extension again on the 16th, no, that was on the on the 15th, right on the 16th, right on the 15th, yes, and closed at 16.19, so the swings are so, 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 um, um, so wide apart, you know, so 
Okay, moving down, we can see the oscillators have now rolled over. The uh, slopes are very much negative, but the um, my D is still above zero and um, still stops sustained. The momentum based on the 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is, indic is indicating that the stock has been sold out. It's also is oversold. Momentum has also rolled over as well as waning. MACD is uh, looking down but still above the signal line. So momentum is uh, indeed very much bearish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is below 20, the devil which many others call oversold. This means that investors have been selling shares and driving the price lower. Yes. The volume for that uh, session, the session of the 18th, was heavier than usual, trading 96.34 million shares versus an average of 2.484 million shares per day during the last 12 months. The unbalanced volume indicator is bearish, the slope is negative and suggests that uh, there's a lack of buying interest. So all in all, we indeed it is uh, the sell-off took place, you know, took place again. And it is not um, the first time as well, you know, we saw that uh, sort of retracement. So I'm not going to say that there's a good chance that it will happen again. We, I'm not going to say, I can't, we can't exactly conclude that it will retrace up again. But what was certain is that uh, it's uh, pulled up again, pulled up all the way up to $8 and some fraction. Yes, somewhere there, $8, roughly it's up to, up to $9 in that session of the 18th. So, but um, I think this news is by far much more fundamental. It um, uh, it is a, a, a it's a tangible response, a more tangible. Um, it's by far much more tangible. Um, so um, tangible outcome. So uh, it may have uh, deterred um, a lot of um, people who were involved in the squeeze in the previous uh, days. So all in all, we can now see that um, technically it is now trading below all of its, all of its uh, moving averages at the moment. And um, But even at that, at some point it was actually trading lower than where it was at, at, um, as at some time in June as well. As at some time in June it was trading as low as $4.85. So um, all in all, if you think this retracement, 50% retracement is good, for you to get involved yes we have we did buy we we did pick up a position because uh, a 50 percent retracement is uh sizable enough you know, and technically just you know, strictly based on that we picked up um, a position i just added uh, another position another a few more shares to our position so um but if you feel that is enough for you by all means get involved but you know just know what you're doing and just be careful you know um there's always a good chance it can retrace again. So let's see what the volume is saying here. So the volume was uh, was quite. Um, it wasn't as it wasn't as much as that of the 16th, but at the same time as well, a very significant amount of that was also sold short. So um, the, 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 this, the, the, the signals are still very much a bearish, a bearish one based on the fact that we have um, that sort of uh, shots um, volumes in that last session. So yes, um, it, has, it has retraced trading at a discount to its uh, short uh, and intermediate uh, moving averages and it has a sizable amount of short volume. So the the signals are, uh, um, I mean, given this retracement, the based on the short interest or short volumes, yes, we can see that the signals are very much bullish. So that's the contrary to that. The contrary to that retracement is that the signals are very much bullish. So, so but um, it can always retrace. You know, this is a biotech, biopharma stock. So um, the swings and volatility. Um, I'll always stand here. Yes, you, you, you have evidently seen that play out. Okay, we can surprisingly we are seeing only a 383.14 percent volatility volatility for the last 10 days. In the coming sessions, it might um, change as well. So the signals, the 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 contrary implication of the of that retracement of that 50 percent retracement is that the stock is very much bullish. 
so um, but at the same time it can always retrace so and at the same time it was also it's also you know cheaper now than what the moving average is especially for the short and terminate period are saying so you decide what you're gonna do we have uh, picked up a position but at the same time we didn't pick up a huge amount so if anything goes wrong we can always ignore it so be careful see what you're gonna make out of uh, of, 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 of a zyme and uh, see what's going to pan out in the comment sessions so um, leave your comments in the comment box below and let's see how it goes so thank you very much for watching this video